Hello everybody and welcome back to the Alma Free Beta Editor Showdown Today's showdown will be between different firearms Specifically I'll try uh, rifles, pistols and assault rifles For that to happen I've set up some uh, basic weapon crates Special weapons crates These have sniper rifles and SMGs I believe And marksman rifles And basic ammo for all of them for each side. If you want that what the sides are, that's the AF, some sort of uh, Russian speaking people, uh, Cyrillic stuff, the CSAT and NATO. We also have pop up targets and uh, oval ground targets. Place at different distance. So let's see how that went, as that one goes. I'll uh, first try the uh, rifle, automatic rifles. And here we are on the ground with the MXSW version. Basically, it's a longer rifle with a heavy barrel, designed for long range sport and a 100 mag, uh, 100 bullet magazine. This is uh, NATO's squad support weapon, automatic rifle. So these are our targets: close range, medium range, and f well, not really far range, but we'll see what we can do. So let's start up. Is well enough. Okay, medium range. It's controllable, I guess. At uh, low range, it's asynchronous. Tap, tap, tap. I wish I could actually talk properly. <laughs> At close ranges, you can actually engage if you burst fire. Looks like it works full out as well if you're trying to steal an entire village with yourself. And the 100 bullets don't actually feel that few of them. Let's switch to medium range. Keep in mind I am actually standing. It's getting hard to actually put bullets on targets though. This range, while well standing, of course if I go prone it's gonna be easy, I'm assuming. I could aim down the side, I'm not gonna do that. This way I can get a good idea of the tracers, you can see the tracers, you can see the recoil. Right, that concludes the medium range from prone. I have the long range, but uh, apparently I still have one pack. Hey, okay. I don't think I'm gonna hit these guys from <laughs> up here. Yeah, you can also see the small ground rounded targets. You now designed to actually be prone targets, I guess. Okay. Because it's a rifle, it's actually easy to go single shot with it. And it actually should, in theory, have a greater range than, uh, than the rifle because of its longer barrel. Yeah, that's not how uh, aut automatic rifles are designed to do. So let's do it the proper way. Come on! Really hard to control, even when prone at this range. At uh, this range, all sorts of ammo. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> so we didn't have the ammo box round. Sadly, it replaced my tracers. Ah, damn. It's really hard to hit with this thing. Obviously, without using without the sight. And again, I'm not the best shot either. What the hell? Oh, bitch. 
It's loaded me up with uh, 40 magazine, 30 round magazines. There we go, back with tracers. I'm hoping to do this as fast as possible since, you know, I'm trying to make the video length shorter so people can actually watch it. Maybe I'll separate it. Separate it. Damn it! Damn it! It does seem to actually be better if you're uh, aiming down the sides. But going full auto at those distances, yeah, you're not gonna score many kills. This is That's the whole job of the automatic rifle and the rifleman. Use suppressing fire to actually keep the enemy down as opposed to actually taking them out. It's not about killing the enemy, it's about making the enemy think that you can actually kill him if you have if he act if he pokes his head out. It's not bad. I expect a more recall. Okay. So let's see how we do with that. Standing up elevated. Yeah, <laughs> that's with, of course without me trying to control it, so let's see if I can actually control it. It's really hard, you know, um, if I'm turning up. But it's doable, and again, it's designed to actually keep the enemy down and in cover rather than being shivered or Even at medium range, it's doable. Not bad. Recoil is decent. The only problem, I assume, would be the small magazine when compared to the others. Well, let's switch up to the Op Force uh, machine gun. Okay, here we are with the Zephyr 7.82 light machine gun. Op 4 slide machine gun, although in the crate Op 4 seems to actually have, um, I think, a mini me machine gun, a mini -me machine gun as well, a 200 round box. This one has a 150 round box as its ammo. So let's see how it does. Oops. Might actually have a better recoil. Keep in mind though that um, I don't know what was I trying to say. <laughs> Keep in mind that I'm doing this standing, and you should always burst as much as possible. Also keep in mind these guys are not these are targets. Targets go down from one bullet. So, uh, in the game, you might actually need more than one bullet, although, as you can see on the ground targets, you can put a lot of rounds on target really fast before the recoil kicks in. Although, at this region, that distance, see on this one. It does feel like it has a, a bigger recoil. Right? Also keep in mind, since I'm doing this, it's um, most of the stuff you're gonna see are probably gonna be due to uh, user error rather than uh, something else. Rather than the gun failing. Although, one prone, it's... Why aren't you hitting? Doesn't seem to have that big of a recoil. Time for the long range targets. Oh man. I 
Yeah. I love the echo when the gun shoots. Yeah, it's definitely harder to control when standing up. <laughs> aiming the aim uh, down the side. One standing up, it's not impossible. Again, it's a lot more accurate when prone and easier to control. Damn it. <laughs> I think you get the picture. Do I have enough ammo to actually test it? Maybe I should have dealt with that first. Okay. So let's see. Not bad. Yeah, it's hard to control, but again, it has a better, uh, a bigger magazine, and it's uh, easier to control when uh, prone, which is why it should be a good rifle. Time to switch to the next one, I guess. Here we are with the Mark 200. It's a mini -me light machine gun. Uses 6.5 by 49 millimeter. Basically, a saw if you if you're a have knowledge of the American uh, armed forces weapon, the weapons of the American armed forces, the United States <laughs> armed forces. Uh, but as it is, this fucking thing take up a lot of space. Basically, in my carrier green, I can barely put three belt. So that's um, 600 bullets, but that's it. Can't put anything in my combat things. Of course, you'll have a backpack, but that will slow you down, make you easier, faster. Uh, that will uh, tire you faster. So let's begin. Do you see that? Unfortunately, you can't control the firing mode on it, as opposed to the Zephyr and the SW. I need to test this again. Yep, it has penetration though, it can actually penetrate two of them. Good to know, isn't it? <laughs> well, doesn't feel that more difficult than Zephyr control. Although the burst might kinda, kinda, maybe I'm just imagining it, or maybe the burst fire has more recoil. Never okay, mind, it's fucking difficult to control while standing up. On the other hand, there's almost no recoil while on the ground. No, the iron sights are kind of crappy. They're really blocking your vision. Okay, and you go for long ranges. Ah, Jesus. Can still hit them. It's important. Yeah, recoils about as much as the Zephyr when standing uh, up. I think it's more controllable even at full auto. As you can see by the iron sight. Let's get prone. Now, the Zephyr is more stable uh, underground in front. Well, I think of all of them, the Zephyr is better. 
it's more stable than both of them and it has a 150 mega 50 bullets box It's really hard to actually control this in full auto while standing up, which is as it should be. <laughs> so, that concludes the automatic rifleman test. If you have more questions about it, more details you want to know, send me a message in the comment, list, in the comment section down below. So, come back for the next test, which is going to involve normal rifles.